Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Okay, so this video is about doing the mod to the burn pot so you can install the Muxall Pro Ceramic Igniter. Alright, and the kit basically comes with a ceramic igniter and a spring. Alright, <laughs> okay, and so and the only tool you need to do this, and not including, you know, what it takes to remove the burn pot, of course. That's another video. But uh, the only tool you need for that is this guy right here. Maybe, maybe some needle nose pliers for installing the spring. It can get a little, little tough without some pliers. All right. And what we're trying to do is we're going to, this is how it's going to look. And this is an old burn pot I had laying around. And I, I did the mod, but you can see we're going to cut it right before these uh, these holes right here. I don't really know what these holes are for. I guess to uh, keep the igniter cool. Who knows? But um, because that's what the spring is going to hook onto. So you don't want to cut into the holes or your spring is not going to mount properly. Okay. So. All right. Let me clean my mess up here. All right, so what we want to do is is make sure to mark on here. And this doesn't have to be, you know, real accurate. You just want to make sure you're not cutting into the into that hole right there, right? <laughs> and it might even be better to, to mark to the hole. But anyway, I'm just marking where we're going to cut. And uh, I'll do the same thing on this side. Oops. You see that okay? Yeah, anyway, I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it. So, right, right there. Whoops. Like I said, this is rocket science, and as long as you don't cut into the hole, you should be good. But you do want the igniter sticking into the into the fire pot, right? So the you know, if you cut it way out here, then it's not going to be much igniter in the fire pot. And so we want to cut it into here. It's, you know, pretty close to that end piece. Okay. So what I'm going to do, make sure I don't cut into this. I'm getting some electrical tape out here. I'm just going to put a little tape right there so I can... mark exactly so I'm just gonna cut right on the edge of that tape right all right snip that off all right you guys see that okay yeah so I'm gonna be cutting on the line and right next to that tape. All right. So that way, so if you're on, if you're, you know, hacksawing away at this thing and you start, start seeing it drifting into the tape, you know, <laughs> you better, you better restart. Okay. So and then it's just a matter of just cutting this thing off. <laughs> Probably be easier if it was mounted, but it's hard to mount and video at the same time. Okay, I'm just checking to make sure I'm not getting into the tape. As you can see, it is getting a little bit kind of crooked, but uh, so try to compensate for that. There we go. Yeah, it got a little bit crooked. I, I can see right there. So, yeah, if that happens, then you will need another tool. 
<laughs> and that would be that would be Mr. File. Because you want it straight. You don't want the the igniter to sit in there crooked. And um, and actually if you have a, a better saw, like a chop saw, that would probably make it a nice clean cut. But um Anyway, I'm not going to record me filing on this thing because it's probably going to take me, I don't know, maybe five. Sorry, I got it out of the camera, didn't I? It's probably going to take me, I don't know, there's maybe an eighth inch there, so maybe five, ten minutes. And I'm sure you've got better things to do than watching me file. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and, and wear that tape. I'm just going to file it even with the tape, right? So... I'll be back. Okay. Well, I think I got it fairly square. You guys see that okay? And um, another thing I was thinking that you can do too is you can kind of use the file to kind of deburr this thing. And uh, even on the outside, when I go ahead and pull the tape off it, yeah, I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and pull the tape off this thing and. I'll do a test fit real quick. There we go. Yeah, I left enough quite a bit on both sides, really. So, yeah, a <laughs> little uh, manufacturing defect there. Another thing you can do too is is kind of hit hit the outside a little bit with a file. You don't have to do this. It's just for safety, so you don't cut yourself. Cut the wires, you know, anything, something like that. It's just kind of deburring it. All right. Yeah, that way when you're handling it, I noticed the, the holes haven't really been deburred very much, so I might as well go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. There we go. All right. Now it's fairly safe to handle. Like I said, you can kind of kind of ream them out a little bit here. You can kind of see what I'm doing there. There. And you can grab your canned air if you have some of that. And give, her a, give her a quick squirt. And uh, let's see, where did we put our igniter? Oh, oh, here it is. Now you have to be careful with, with these things. They're um, they're made out of ceramic, of course, which is uh, kind of like your toilet. Your toilet's made out of ceramic, so you can't really go beating on your toilet, and you can't beat on the igniter. So that looks pretty good. Um, about a half inch inside there, or maybe three quarters of an inch. So uh, yeah, I think that's a winner. So now it's now we just have to install the spring. Yeah, did you see the inside? Sorry, I, I looked at it. I don't know if I showed you. <laughs> but there you have it. That, that looks pretty good. And the spring will kind of hold it, kind of floating in there to give it a little bit of uh, room to move around a little bit. So because if you rigidly mount this thing, it's gonna break. If you all you have to do is just bump it and it's going to break it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and install the spring and uh, I'm put on my eyeballs so I can see it just a tad better. But yeah, so one end of this spring is is open. You can kind of, I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to bend it way out because that's going to make it not <laughs> I, that, that'll make it to where it won't hold it in place right without falling out so what i'm going to do and this is why i was saying you might need some needle nose you could probably do this with your fingers but you just barely want to pull the spring out and go over there like that see and then uh, you just stick the igniter in here okay and run the spring through the wires like that okay and basically just do the same thing with the other side. The other side's a little trickier. 
And this is where you're really gonna maybe need some needle nose, unless you're just very patient about getting that thing in there. Now hopefully I'm not gonna get my head in the shop, but I've gotta get down there with it to see uh, what's going on. Nope, I'm just gonna have to get down there with that thing. Okay, so this is probably good. So when that happens, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, I'm gonna start from the other side. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so since I bent this spring, we don't want that. So I'm gonna put him on this side right here so I can kind of get him. Oh, there we go, okay. Now I'm gonna just start again with this side right here because I, I didn't want to break that spring right there messing with it. Like I said, I showed you the other one. I, this, this works okay. <laughs> this is probably not the best uh, how-to video, I'm guessing. So, uh, might have to make another one. But, for now, it is what it is. And you can always buy these things pre-made here at Buxall, so you don't have to do this. But, like I said, it, it's not that hard. I, I'm just trying to do it on video and... Okay, sorry, I had, to, I had to put my eyeballs on and, and get down there and be one with it. So I got it on there and, and it looks pretty good. Yeah, so what was causing the problems, I was wondering what was going on is, remember I said they didn't deburr this outside? Well, they didn't deburr the inside. I was trying to feed that spring up there and I was getting caught on that burr and that's why it wasn't getting fed or feeding in properly. So, if you, if you buy, but when we modify these here at Muxall, um, we'll go ahead and deburr the inside and outside and, and of course cut this for you. So, <laughs> so you're not gonna, actually, if you buy the burn pot and igniter kit, it'll already be assembled for you and you can just install it, right? But, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to explain what was going on with that because I was scratching my head. I was like, well, I installed this one in about five minutes and uh, it wasn't any problem. But yeah, this one wasn't deburred on the inside. So, so it'll have to be deburred on the inside and outside and around where the cut is. But there you have it. That's, uh, that's it. So, uh, yeah, a little, you know, clean out some of the dust and plug it in your grill and let it rip. Don't forget, you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.